Salt Creeps, and welcome back to Salt Creek TV after a very extended hiatus for me in making videos. I know a few of you are probably wondering uh, where I'm at and what I've been up to and what's going on with the 75 gallon build, which you are seeing uh, in the video right now. Uh, a lot's changed uh, since uh, the last time I put a video up. Uh, and I'm gonna get to that in just a moment, but before I do, I really want to say thank you to you guys uh, for watching the channel and uh, for your support. It means a lot to me. Um, the video that you're watching uh, currently is something I just did in one take and kind of just put up there on YouTube, and recently it just went over 10,000 views. And to some of you that may not seem like very much, but to me that's a lot more than I uh, ever anticipated. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, for your interest and your kind words. Um, and uh, let's get on to, to what's currently happening. Um, I have since uh, moved from the location of that first video that was in Illinois. I am now living on the East Coast in North Carolina. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a worship pastor, which means I do all the music uh, for the churches that I serve in. So I'm at a great church here. Um, we've been here for about nine months now. And I uh, just started a new build. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure if I'd be able to even have a tank. Um, so the 75 gallon build was completely taken apart and it was sold. Um, it was a great tank, loved the build, but uh, I'm really excited about uh, what's currently going on. So uh, let me show you guys uh, what's brewing and what's going on and uh, what's underway. So here it is, uh, my new build is the Innovative Marine Nuvo Fusion 30 Long. And uh, most of you are seeing a familiarity right off the bat there with the door. And yes, it is pretty much the same exact door, just uh, slightly smaller. Um, it's still constructed the same way. It still mounts the same way with the two brackets on each side. Uh, just really liked the look of it and so did my wife. I uh, wanted to do it again on this build, so I did. Um, the stand is actually some uh, MDF board, which we all know is not good um, around water. So when I first got the stand, it actually had MDF uh, doors on it and it was just really swollen from water. It just did not look good. So I tore the doors off and uh, put the new door on. So for this build, I'm also using my uh, same water top off reservoir that I used on the 75 gallon build. It's a three and a half gallon. And for this tank, I've been able to go almost two weeks at a time with it, so that's been pretty awesome. Uh, in conjunction with that, I'm using the Smart ATO uh, unit. That's been uh, really good. I really do recommend that for those that are wondering. Um, it's been a good combo for me. I also decided to use the AI Prime HDs um, for this build. I currently have them on the BRS settings for the Coral AB Plus program. I boosted my whites to 25%. I'm running the Aquatic Life 115 protein skimmer on this tank. It's rated for 30 gallons, which is what my tank is, but I only actually have 20 gallons of water in my tank. And I think a lot of people forget about that when they're um, choosing equipment. Uh, but it does do a good job. It takes out a lot of gunk. Um, you can get a pretty um, thick skimmate out of it. And I actually do really recommend it. It fits in the, the compartment really well. Here we have a shot of the tank uh, straight on and the tank's actually been running for close to five months now. Um, I have quite a few different corals uh, in here. Most of them are SPS. Um, in the next video coming out shortly you will see an unboxing for some LPS corals that are currently in the tank but are not pictured yet so stay tuned for that. Uh, you can tell on the right hand side I'm using uh, Ecotech Vortec MP10. It's one of the older ones. Um, I am looking at getting the ice cap 1K to put on the left side. I think I'd run that vertically and uh, just push water across the back wall. I kind of had some detritus settling in behind the, the aquascape. Um, so I think uh, for this tank, I think it measures about eight and a half inches. And I think the water um, from top to bottom is I want to say somewhere around 11 inches, so I think it would work uh, really well um, for that purpose. And then I also have some fish in the tank, as you can see. Um, I have a flame angel, who's actually been a really good citizen so far. 
Um, kind of shows a little bit of interest in my bubblegum digitata, but really hasn't nipped at it that I can tell. Um, I also have a blue-green chromis and a pair of onyx sunset clowns. And here's some coral that was in the tank at the time of this filming. Also, uh, at the time of this filming, I was dealing with some diatoms. Fortunately, those have since cleared up, but you will see those in, uh, in all these shots. Um, this one here is a green stag acro. Here's a really cool Montipora. Uh, it's purple with green. You can see it on the right hand side. It's got a green ring or a rim all the way around it. I can't remember the name of it, so if you can, uh, post it in the comments. It's definitely not a Jedi mind trick, but it, it is a really nice coral. And here is my red planet acro. Uh, this one's doing really well. It is encrusting uh, onto the rock, uh, good polyp extension, and uh, this one I think is going to be a good grower. And here's my frog spawn. This is actually two heads of frog spawn. And uh, this one I thought was cool because of the color combination. Normally it's a green with uh, purple tips. This one is a green with cream. Uh, I don't think I'd ever really seen one of these before. Uh, it's just a really nice, uh, nice frog spawn. Here's my bubblegum digitata, and uh, this is a new uh, coral. At the time of this filming, it was just put in the tank, so the polyps are not really extending yet. Um, but as of right now, I can tell you that uh, it's been growing really well. Last but not least is my rainbow bubble tip anemone. Um, this video really does not do it justice. If you see it under the actinics, it, it really is a rainbow of, of colors. It's just a super nice anemone. All right, well, that's going to do it for this update. Be sure to uh, tune in, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications as there will be more videos to come in the future about this current 30-gallon uh, bill. Thanks again.